All right, Yahoo Fantasy Baseball 2010, Week 6 in the Tucson Toros group. We're going to take a look at Twice as Nice taking on Koufax's Revenge. Um, probably an unusual outcome to this battle. Koufax was actually leading for a good chunk of the week. Twice as Nice managed to uh, rally back by weeks in, though, and wound up picking up the win here 6-4. to four. Twice as Nice is now 36-21-3 on the year, while Koufax falls to 26-31-3. Overall, Twice is still unbeaten. Uh, had a tie last week, but picks up a win this week, so still has yet to lose and is now 3-0 all-time against Koufax. Uh, Koufax has no wins against higher-ranked teams this season, just two wins overall. Both those wins come against teams behind Koufax in the standings. So Koufax yet to prove, uh, prove themselves as a team so far. Twice as nice uh, highs and lows for the season. Had season highs and wins. ERA and whip. A great pitching week for twice as nice. Two pitchers won twice, and no pitcher had an ERA above 4.5. Usually in fantasy baseball, you have at least one pitcher who has a bad week, but that really wasn't the case for twice as nice this week. Uh, though season lows in a lot of categories, that's where Koufax managed to keep this thing close. Uh, season lows in runs, homers, RBIs, and average lost all four of those categories. Those are the four categories Revenge, Koufax Revenge picked up. Um, that could be possibly attributed to the fact that Jacoby Ellsbury and Brian Roberts have been hurt and uh, didn't contribute to the team this week. Uh, Koufax had no highs for the season this week, but set a season low in stolen bases and also has had no saves five straight weeks. This team lacks a closer and uh, definitely... Could use maybe some shifting in the lineup to start picking up some saves. On offense, Koufax, as we said, took four out of five, a dominating performance against a very tough team. So Koufax uh, flashing the bat this week. Twice really struggled mightily, though. So you can definitely contribute to the fact that Twice just didn't have their stuff this week. Uh, just two players hit homers. Uh, three homers by themselves were from Adam Dunn. So Dunn had a huge week, three homers, but just five RBIs. You would think a guy hitting homers would pick up a few more RBIs than that. Uh, the only only player on the team also that had more than two RBIs uh, was Adam Dunn. Uh, Chris Snyder completely cooled off after a hot start taking over from Miguel Montero for the D-backs. And just three players hit over 300 this week. Uh, so definitely struggling. Uh, the twice as nice offense struggled this week. Uh, Koufax's revenge: three players hit five or more runs. Had five or more runs. Uh, twice as nice had no players above four runs. So that showed you the discrepancy there, but in the in some of the offensive categories, Koufax hit 306 for the week as a team. Seven players hit above five, uh, 300 on a roster that's only using 10 players and not making any changes. Seven of them hit over 300. That's fantastic. Hunter Pence, a big week for Hunter Pence, who's been kind of quiet this year. Three homers, seven RBIs, and a 320 average. Definitely helping out the Koufax cause this week. Uh, in pitching, twice as nice swept in a near runaway. Twice as nice dominated the pitching side of things. Uh, took wins 7-2. to two. Ricky Nolasco and Tim Hudson both picked up two wins this week. That's fantastic. Seven starters on the roster. Five of them picked up wins. And nobody on the team had a whip higher than 1.5. Just a couple guys went that high. So whip was fantastic this week for twice as nice. Matt Lidstrom picked up three saves and a zero ERA. Matt Capps had a save and a zero ERA. So the bullpen definitely performing at their highest level as well. For twice as nice, Koufax had two relievers that uh, has two relievers that aren't closing on the same team from the Toronto Blue Jays, and uh, has a closer in Octavio, Octavio Dotel on the bench. Isn't using him in the active lineup and is instead using two setup guys from the Toronto Blue Jays. Definitely a strategy miscue there. Something that the uh, owner might want to take a look at. Uh, Roy Halladay has been strong for Koufax all season, but didn't get a win this week. And Edwin Jackson continues to look awful for the D-backs at an 8.1 ERA. Of course, as I say this, Jackson had a fantastic performance tonight against the Marlins. So we'll see if that's a, a bounce back for Jackson there. Uh, Koufax's revenge also, uh, just in general, was overpowered by the pitching staff that twice as nice as assembled. Moving forward, twice as nice as second in the standings, just three and a half out of first, and gets big time rival Grassy Knoll. Remember, uh, twice as nice did not lose a single game to Grassy Knoll last year. They faced off three times, twice in the regular season, uh, had a win and a tie against Knoll, and then in the playoffs in the semifinals. 
bumped off Noel once more. So definitely a rivalry there. And then uh, Koufax's Revenge is now 11th in the standings. Only 5.5 out of 6, though. So definitely staying in touch with the group. And takes on big-time matchup next week. Takes on Otis and the Drunks.